Hey everyone, it's Nathan again with Citizen Nerd, and today I thought we would actually play around a little bit with just kind of making some simple music with synthesizers. So I got my XWP1, and what I've done is I've taken, adjust the mic here, what I've done is I've taken the output from the MIDI, fed that into my little Korg um, vocal beats, then the output from it, and taken the sync out and fed my Poly 61 for sync in for the arpeggiator and then set it just to do the, the kick drum and fed that into my XR18 and then I'll show you a picture of the setup that I've got for my XR18 I'm doing a side compression for this so wind up with a sound kinda like Like that. Instead of a continuous sound, you get that zzz, zzz, zzz sound. And then I've got a vocal sound on my Juno D here, uh, which will give you just a simple. So, and I've played around with a few other things like the synth sound for. A simple synth sound. Anyway, so let's play around with this. Let's see if we can just make something fun with it because frankly that's what I want to do today is fun.
that's actually really fun when just a simple thing. It's one of the built-in drum sequences feeding through all this. So we'll go here in a minute and I'll actually show you how I set all this stuff up. It's really simple to do. So it's actually kind of fun because you can really use some of this like, you know, this, th this synthesizer is from 1983 and it still works just fine. CF here that you can actually mess with. This is really kind of funny because of that you know, ramp with it widening and lowering of the, uh, of the uh, cutoff. So it's really kind of fun. And you can do that actually with this one as well, but some of these older analog synths are really kind of fun to play with. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll go through the setup on this and kind of show you how to do it all. Okay, and this is my XR18 mixer, and I've got the headphone out going to. Uh, a little PA here so I can actually hear myself. This one of the speakers here. <laughs> um, this is a line in from the mic I just used to record. But these are the synthesizers in. And then this bottom one here is the input from the trigger. Or actually the kick drum out of the vocal beat. So I'm using that as my side compression trigger. So a couple things I did here. Obviously you get your line audio outs. I took the output from the MIDI and then ran that to the vocal beats. Okay, I'll try and make this as easy to see. All right, here's the MIDI in, and then uh, this is a link to something else, but MIDI in, so I've got sync out, sync out, and that's feeding over to the input of that, and I'll show it in a second. And I've got the line out, just one channel, of the, line, of the headphone out, rather, feeding that over to the XR18 for my side compression. Okay, and this is the back the back of the uh, Poly 61. So I have to line out for the audio. And then I've got arpeggiator trigger in, so I can run the arpeggiator through that whole system and sync the whole thing together. Okay, and on screen now you see the XR18 software that I'm using to run all of that sound with. And the first five channels are the synthesizer in, and channel nine is labeled as the kick drum in, which will be the trigger for the side compression on the Korg, which is on channel five. And then here you're actually seeing the software run from nine. You can see the output affecting the Korg output. You can select the channel through the side filter, and you can set on how it actually reacts and all the compression ratios and stuff like that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed all this. We will see you next time.